everyone. I'm Lucas Meacham. I'm an opera singer. I'm a lyric baritone and I sing roles such as Don Giovanni, the Barber of Seville, and Marcello in La Boheme all around the world. This is my real warm-up routine. I do this every single day I perform in front of people. And I'm basically giving away the keys to the castle. Should I give you all the secrets? I'm giving you all the secrets! I find that it helps to think of your vocal warm-ups as pre-singing. So you don't judge yourself and you don't get down about not being perfect right off the bat. My warm-up routine consists of a three-step process. You're literally taking a trip to get to a destination, and that destination is showtime. Now, is this applicable for every voice type? The answer is definitively yes. The first thing you need to do is warm up your breath. The second thing is to make sure everything's in the right space. The third thing you need to do is make sure that the voice is humming. I like to start each of these steps at different times of the day, starting with when I first wake up. But before any of these steps, massage. You want to start here under your ear and just get a little rub down here. Move to your cheeks, maybe your nose around a little bit, and then move down your face. Feel these muscles here, they're important. Give a little rub here, and then take your thumbs, move down under your tongue. And you're going to want to massage just to lay your tongue a little bit. And then you're going to work your way down to your neck. Let's move to the back. Feel the back of the neck. Give a little neck massage in the back. You're going to move to your actual throat. Take it in your hands and just go back and forth one or two times. And once you feel a little loose, you're going to want to move on to relaxing your jaw. And that's just simply letting your jaw hang open and shake. You literally hear it go bop, 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 bop. Second one, we're going to try and relax our tongue, which sounds really weird. You stick your tongue out. Let it loll out of your mouth and shake. Ah. Then we're going to go on to a very important breath control exercise. You're going to breathe in and out as quickly as you can through your mouth and then switch over to your nose and then in with a nice little hmm. Hmm. So the first step in this process is Take a shower and warm up. Where else do we sound best other than the shower? So what you're going to start with is lip trills. And for me, lip trills are life. Lip trills are life. You cannot do a true lip trill without support. Once the support goes away, the lip trill goes away. Now, depending on how you're feeling right this second, if you're like, oh, that's a little wooly and low, I go down from here. If I'm feeling like everything's in place, I feel good, I go up from here. Now, with lip trills, there's a right and a wrong way to do it. There's an overly supported lip trill, and there's an under supported lip trill. You want to meet somewhere in the middle. The lips are just going free, you're not holding anything in this area, everything's relaxed. For the next lip drill exercise, we're doing octave arpeggios. The goal here is to keep the sound in the same space all the way through the arpeggio. It's all in the same line, so you don't want to start too low and go Always think when doing arpeggios that you're going over the top note. The top note is not the destination. The destination is the note you started on. Light and bright, forward space all the time. The next lip trill is a bit of a jumping exercise. If you're feeling a little wooly still, go down. If you're feeling in good shape, go up. Always, you want those lips buzzing out this way, the sound always moving forward. So we don't want this. That's all happening here and back. Even with a lip trill, we want the sound here and out. There are two falsetto exercises that you can do that really get your breath cooking with gas. You want to be right on the verge of breaking, you men, because this doesn't work so well for the ladies. So guys, do this one. Ladies, skip ahead. See, I'm about to break there at the end. Man, I really need to warm up this. It's okay, Lucas, I forgive you. You want to bounce every one of these. Your diaphragm is going ba 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 ba. That is the end of step one. My legs are falling. Oh my god, my legs are asleep. Step two, let's do it! Fast forward to the future a few hours, 
probably after lunch. Don't forget that we're still just warming up. We're not singing yet. So don't get down about anything that cracks or crickles or, or snap crackles or pops. Make mistakes now so you don't make them later on the stage. We're going to sing the vowel nay, like a horse. Nay, 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 nay. Keeping in mind that we're not spreading too much and we're not putting it back. It's not nay, 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 or nay, 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 nay. I actually prefer that direction to the other because at least it's out. It's much easier to bring a forward sound back than to bring a dark sound forward. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. I'm really feeling right now that my tongue wants to go up, so make sure that when you do this exercise, your tongue stays nice and relaxed behind those bottom teeth where it should always hang out. Next exercise, I'm really warming up right now. It's a bright ah vowel. And most people sing ah better than most. Actually, I was an E guy, but anyway. The most important thing in this entire exercise is that you're not moving your jaw, only the tongue moves. Lightly place your hand on the bottom of your chin. And then lick your hand. <laughs> At the end of this little ah uh, arpeggio, we're gonna stick our tongues out to make sure that we don't have any tongue tension going on in the back. Next, one of my personal favorites. We're gonna work on warming up our nasal cavity. Our nasal cavity. Yum, 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 yum. You need to feel buzz, buzz, buzz here, and then beautiful ah uh, to the beautiful mm. If you're having trouble finding that nasal resonance, you have to spend more time on the nya. Yum, 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 yum. Next exercise. The point of this is to keep every vowel, everything in the same general space right here and always forward. When I go me, me, ma, ma, they're all in the same space. In other words, don't over articulate. Me, me, ma, mu, mu, me, me, ma, ma, mu. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna do the most beautiful singing warm up that we've done to this point. Vieni, 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 I'm holding on to the last mm. The reason for this is that to have consistent vibrato in your sound, even your consonants need to have vibrato. Your voice consonants, that is. Step two. Welcome to the final chapter. Up until this point, we've been warming up and not worrying about how we sound. It's time to start thinking about how we sound because we're either on our way to the theater or we've just arrived. I'm singing a lower role such as Don Giovanni or Papageno. I try not to warm up too much at this point and do it during the show. If I'm singing a higher role like the Barber of Seville, I warm up a lot before the show. Ma Keeping it nice and forward and not darkening that ah. Ma the destination is the starting note, not the high note. You have to go over that. I have a lot of trouble with this. This is sort of the final warm-up to tell you what little corrections you need to make. Right now, my support is not quite under me, so I'd probably go back and do a few of the breathing exercises or some more lip trills. This is when you need to self-analyze and start listening to yourself. Am I hitting on these notes on the way down? Is my vibrato spinning the whole way through? And by the time you finish this last set of exercises, the answer should be yes to all those. Me. Me. Na. After we've accomplished some of those, you've gone through your passaggio, you've sung to the high notes. I normally sing to about an A in this, which is a high note for a baritone. This is a huge arpeggio, and we're going to hit all the vowels on the way up and down. Me. Me. That's getting up there. All right, we're good. That's a wrap. Oh. Let me know how this warm-up routine worked for you. Keep in mind that we all have different voices and different voice types, so at the end of the day, take what works best for you and use it and scrap the rest. Good luck and always keep it light and bright. Now for the best part. Yeah. You can do it.